Sherry Jo Bates, was found murdered on October 30, 1966. The Riverside Police Department refrigerated the hair, skin, and blood found under her fingernails. The person who committed this crime has not been brought to justice yet. This week, an elite team of retired military intelligence officers and detectives called the case breakers announced that they had finally found the Zodiac Killer. According to them, the person who murdered Sherry Bates was in fact none other than the Zodiac Killer. They came to this solid conclusion after carefully reviewing multiple forensic evidences. First, the top suspect, Gary Post, who died in 2018, had a scar on his forehead. This scar was the result of a brain surgery. Not many people underwent brain surgeries in the US, especially in the year 1959, so the first evidence itself is quite strong and justifies additional scrutiny from law enforcement. The next evidence presented by the case breakers is a wristwatch splattered with wall paint. It is certainly not a coincidence that the prime suspect, Gary Post, was working as a professional house painter for years before becoming a serial killer. DNA samples need to be collected from this watch too. How many people wear size 10 military style boots? Definitely not a lot. Boot prints found in the dirt at many of the Zodiac Killer crime scenes came from size 10 military style boots. This is certainly more than just a mere coincidence. Gary Post used to wear these boots many times. If you compare an original letter posted by the Zodiac Killer to a letter received by the police department after the homicide of Sherry Bates, you will immediately notice that several phrases and words seem identical. To say that this is a mere coincidence is tantamount to saying that words in a dictionary can sometimes spontaneously combine to generate a best-selling novel. This cannot be a coincidence at all. The last piece of evidence is something that Videonium noticed. The Zodiac Killer's letter mentions Ant Hills, and it is now known to all that the prime suspect used to regularly hurt animals of all types. This also looks like a huge red flag, thus strengthening the case against Gary Francis Post. However, for some strange reason, law enforcement is not ready to run a simple DNA test on the hair samples collected from the Sherry Bates crime scene. A quick comparison between this DNA and the DNA recovered from the Zodiac Killer's postal stamps should help law enforcement seal the case. Videonium also believes strongly that the Zodiac Killer is indeed Gary Francis Post. <laughs>